Hey, it's Lo Terry with Human IT, and we are here in beautiful Washington, D.C. to ask people, what the heck do they know about e-waste? Let's do it. What do you think happens to technology like your phone when you're done with it and you get rid of it? I hope it's recycled. <laughs> yeah, I hope too. I don't think so, though. But I don't know, yeah. <laughs> I really don't know, actually. I would say most of it goes to a landfill. When it gets to a landfill, what do you think it does? Like, like how do you think it affects the planet? I think it affects the Earth yeah, and maybe... ecosystem, everything. Yeah. I mean, it goes in the ocean and uh, it pollutes everything. I would say it probably just sits, gets stacked with more waste, stays there for thousands of years. It just kind of sits there, it rots, and its heavy metals start to deteriorate pretty instantly, and then it leaches into the groundwater and into the soil. So it gets into the food we eat, into the water we're drinking. So w with that in mind, I want to know, what do y'all think that we should do to change that? Uh, maybe use a more second-hand phone yeah. to repair, uh, rebuild it. Bada bing! Bada bing! Bada bing! I think finding ways to recycle parts of technology is good, or trying to use that technology and not just getting the newest version of it. Yeah, like focusing on reuse. How many people in the United States do you think live without access to technology? A few million. I'm gonna go 10. All right. 10 million, not 10 people. Probably in like the couple of tens of millions. What if I told you it was like 170? Million. Uh, million? That's yeah. Enough. Well, what if I told you it was like 168 million? Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense? Why yeah. does it make sense? Well, because just the way that federal and state governments are structured in terms of distributing out resources for like electronics in general, I mean, now with the Infrastructure Act, I mean, assume it's going to be more people are going to get connectivity, especially with the subsidies from like yeah. telecommunications and firms. So I imagine that number is going to decrease over the next 10 years, but it's still incredibly high and I'm not surprised. I, uh, that, that was incredible. What do you think that most people do with the technology they do have when it's no longer useful to them? Throw it away. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Well, unfortunately our recycling capacities for electronic waste are not the best. In fact, many of them end up in landfills. So I think overall, like those critical minerals that are involved, lithium, nickel, essentially going into these landfills, very bad for the environment. Chris, you need to be honest with me right now. Do you work for Human IT? No, I don't work for Human IT. <laughs> Hey, fun fact, y'all. Washington, D.C. stands for Washington Diet Coke. With those two facts in mind, do you guys see a way to like potentially solve both at the same time? Probably some donations. Donations? Yeah, when you're done with it, donate it. Uh, what do you think that we should do to, to, so to solve both of those? That's a tricky question. I think one, we need to seriously start investing more in our infrastructure, which we have already done. I think a good way to get that is through school districts and giving children access to internet through those capacities, you know, iPads, you know, laptops. Um, and then as in regards to your second question about how do we make sure that uh, we recycle properly, that's going to require a lot more investment. It's going to require a lot more partnerships with these big manufacturers who are the majority of the things that end up in our landfill. So, making sure the processes are in place and trying to develop like a circular economy, I would say. The man said circular economy. I cannot believe this. How did it feel to know that there's a nonprofit out there that literally does try and divert as much of that waste as possible away from landfills, refurbishes it, and then gives it to people? Like, how does that make you feel? That makes me feel great. Yeah, yeah. I want to know more about it. <laughs> okay, well that's human IT, that's what we do. Human IT does what you're talking about. We, we, yeah, we literally take technology from big Fortune 500 companies and we uh, wipe the data, refurbish it, we give it to people who can't afford it. Oh, phenomenal, that's <laughs> genius. That went good. Overall, I am hot and not in the way that would get me dates.